The question is, uh, what enabled a six foot one scouser like me to put his foot down and clear a bar set at two meters 37? Determination? Hard work? Springboard. <laughs> Attitude? All of those things, uh, apart from a springboard. Uh, lots of hard work, lots of dedication, lots of sacrifices. But I think the main reason, uh, the main reason that set me apart was my mental approach. Many people achieve unbelievable things and almost all of them have got that one thing in common. As an athlete, I had to train my mind to work in my favour. And that's what my presentation today is going to be about. You know, I never asked the question how a kid from the rough end of Liverpool, who was five inches smaller than the rest of his competitors, could become the best high jumper in the world. Because you know what? I didn't know how. I just knew why. My goal was clear, and the answers would come along the way. And when you set goals, your subconscious mind kicks in to make your goals reality. In 1968, somebody came along who completely revolutionized my event. And it's because of that guy that I stand here today. The amazing thing from that time that you still had the likes of Steve Kelly, Remember the guy that nobody in this room's heard of. The guy who finished in fourth place, even up to a year. Two years later, saying, I don't do the Fosbury flop. Now, I don't know whether it sounds familiar to anybody, but I know loads of Steve Kellys. People who continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect to get different results. True winners in sport know that they're only as good as the last performance. They're always looking for new ways to gain the edge. Now, I don't believe that any of my competitors were going to that level of planning and preparation for one individual session to ensure that they could train at 100%. So the question what I'll ask you is what's your 5M start? What's that thing that differentiates you from your competitors? What do you have in your locker so that when you walk out and stand in front of your customers, you stand there with your chest puffed out, ultimately with that level of self-belief in yourself because you know that you've done the hard work. The world, the time has come to... Undeterred, I step up and I face this huge bank of American faces and go like this. <laughs> and they all go. <laughs> it ain't happening, son. Apart from my Auntie Pat and my Auntie Eileen. They were like that. Go on, Stevie. Go on, Stevie. I think it's time you get up. Crunch time, back and sit up. Come on, keep pace. Don't hold back. Put apprehension on the back burner. Let it sit. Don't even get it lit. Don't hold back. Get involved with the gym. Don't be a prick. Hot chick, be a pig. Don't hold back. Time has come.